The bones of the earth itself offer up their wealth, and we have learned to survive and subsist. Oil bubbles up from below. It can be gathered in the deep places, caves, dens, and our ancestors' tombs, and it will burn with little effort. In times of war, we coat our arrows to make them burn. Deeper still, you can find metal in shining veins that can be mined for their ore. We use that metal to forge simple tools. But someday, we will need that metal to repair the Soviet weapons. Living in harmony with the land rarely means living in harmony with our fellow man. Trinity will be everywhere. I know, but I have no choice. <sighs> so much violence and death. Jacob's people have been through so much, yet they continue to fight. They are bound by an oath taken by their ancestors, a duty handed down from the past. But I see a people who simply want to live in peace. I believe it's time for them to let go of the past. If I can find the Atlas, it might lead to the Divine Source. I could take it away from here. They wouldn't have to suffer anymore. They could share the burden of the truth with the world. But if all this leads to nothing, I don't know what I'll do. I underestimated our enemy. Elias is now dead because of my fool's errand, and my father has not been seen in two days. We would need to be at our full strength to resist Trinity, but it seems the killing blow was dealt before the fight even began. We have the armor of our faith, but what good is it against an enemy that grows stronger with every passing generation? If we survive this time, I fear our children will not survive the next.
We have a true test now, young ones. The valley is balance. When one thing slides, it affects all others. The fire two harvests ago led to an unusual bloom of berries. That led to more deer. And now, we've got too many damned wolves. They're not good eating, but to keep the valley in harmony, we're tracking wolves tonight. They come out after dark and roam the whole valley, but we're going to track them to their dens in caves and other underground places. Stay close together. When you hunt wolves, the wolves are just as likely to hunt you. I can no longer deny the pull that Alia has on me. She came to me, alone, as I walked the passes high above the valley. I know now that the draw was mutual. I explained to her why I could not, should not, why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly, why I could never make her happy. But it didn't matter what I said. As my mouth spoke, my arms reached out to enfold her, and we embraced. It has been so long, and I am still human. I think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's gonna ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up in the cathedral. Someone's gonna have some fun. That must be them. Hoping they draw straws for that time. How long you been on the field? A few months. This is my first web work assignment. It's been too long since I was in the I've attached everything I've learned so far. Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is running a private army. But all roads lead to Rome. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm gonna die for this, I want to be on the right side for once. And Constantine, I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind. For that, I was working for one of the families in Roger, we're clear. 
I have sinned in God's name. Much blood has been spilled on this valley floor. As I speak now, blood continues to flow. Forgive me. That the divine work requires sacrifices does not mean I am clean. Forgive me. For since I've suffered the stigmata in my youth, I've sinned in your name. Forgive those I've killed myself and those who've been killed in my name. They knew not what they were doing. Forgive me. Forgive me for the work I do is not yet done, and there is yet much blood to be spilled. Why don't you take it by four? Hey, I think I found some more of those gold coins. Set it aside. It's just a couple of fucking cor- You are hunters, every last one of you, and I am proud. Your final lesson comes today, a test all hunters must face. Today we'll track the one thing bigger and meaner than me in this valley. Today we'll take down a bear. We only hunt bears when they get old and ornery when they start to enter the village. And now, we have such a bear. I've tracked him to his den, watching him range across the valley, following the other animals. We must throw our spears together. When he rears up, aim straight and true for his heart. A lucky shot between the ribs can drop any beast. Pray you make it, because there won't be a second chance. I gave you a direct order, just like I have a direct order from Constantine to execute anyone who disobeys. Do you follow? Yeah, yeah, I got it. No problem. For a month I have gone to the Forum to hear the Prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the Church in the West seek to silence the Prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world.
Security guards came at night. I knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon, point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. say it's not his call but he's gonna put a recommendation in for us both then there'll be an initiation ceremony of some sort <laughs> Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. All right, how's it look? Secure all the way down to the water. We did a sweep of the buildings and found a straggler hiding in the lodge. Got it! my mind as well. I keep drifting off, getting lost in memories, 
lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift. How I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done, and this time will be no different. There's a woman in the valley now. Not one of us, but not one of them either. I saw her the night Elias was killed. She fought the men who were hunting us. Now I hear whispers from the forward scouts. My father and this woman were seen, free and unhindered. There's no telling what she wants or if I can trust her. But if she brings my father back, then perhaps God has not abandoned us. Thin, fluted, flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine's not taking chances. <laughs> <laughs> Some believe the Prophet to be God's son risen, but he makes no such claims. Some praise his actions as miracles, but he rejects such attributions. In his humility, his followers see the truth of his message. We see the change coming. I have shed the trappings of my station and now devote myself fully to the Prophet. I spread his word, recruiting others of my station to the cause. But this has enraged the elite, and brought the full attention of the Church in the West. Do find the apples. What's next? 
The Atlas is a map. It's supposed to point the way to whatever the natives are protecting out here. The divine source that Constantine's after. That's a part I'm not clear on. Whatever his source is, it's got to... Again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! Bring me that goddamned atlas! Uh. 